Hello, here is an ad hoc video, but a tough video, tell a friend video, uh, regarding the difference between knowledge and intelligence. And uh, a lot of people say, uh, I'm not intelligent or I'm intelligent, and think that, uh, you know, this IQ is fixed, but it's not fixed. That is at least what I'm going to show in this video. So if you look at my usually used three brain model, so that's the brain of a human. So the intellect, the limbic system and reptiles. So let's keep the reptile brain, you know, fear, sex, uh, flight or fight, you know, leave that out. The limbic system is only indirectly uh, involved and the limbic system says what is my vision or what is my mission in life. And now vision and mission in life, that is key because this is 24 hours, 24 hours every day. So 24 hours, 365 is my vision or mission active. And if the vision is, I want to be, a, for example, a wise man or woman, uh, or I would be, I want to be a truth seeker, yeah, um, or I want to enjoy myself and so on. That is, if that is what my vision is, my limbic system, my feelings say, I want this, then as they control the slave the intellect the intellect will act on behalf of this vision or mission um, and now if you look at what has what is the um, the purpose or the the topic knowledge between or the difference between knowledge and intelligence now knowledge i would say is a list of things you know that you have heard you know it's just a list and now the intelligence is the machine to combine or to combine which is is a great thing combine but to process process machine to process knowledge yeah and the knowledge is here but if you now have, let's say you have a thousand pieces of knowledge here, then if your pro machine to process this um, is good, let's say you can process a hundred per second, per second, then it would take you 10 seconds to process all these. But what is, and that means you have here the knowledge in here. But the important thing is, you should combine so that is the key so let's while you process information while information enters your intellect you should associate group um, make a system a model out of it where if you have a model in your brain and the great thing is a neural network neural network ki uh, artificial intelligence ai is working like this this is all stored in connections between neurons so if you establish a lot of connections between the different things and then uh, you will have less uh, you won't have a thousand things you have to combine, but maybe only 10, because if you have a system model, then maybe you can group these 10 together and then pro process them as one. And then maybe have a concept that this fits a specific concept and then maybe hundreds or thousands of such blocks fit that concept and then you can say okay i understand this is this block and it fits this concept and maybe there are only something like a hundred or maybe 
a few hundred concepts that there are, mathematical, logical uh, concepts that, that there are, which I describe as maybe basic system models. And then you have lots of facts and it doesn't matter too much how many facts because if you have one fact missing you can always google that if it's really important and you would want to drill down but for thinking it's enough to take a vague um, information piece of knowledge to process because it will be processed anyway in a vague form so what i want to say is that the key is to combine associate create system model out of your knowledge and whenever you see something coming into your brain please process it put it in many system models link it create many associations while you do that and then it's very very easy to learn and now i want to show that a lot of people say if the iq let's say is 105 you're born with 105 and you die with 105 i would say this is not true if you take the time your, of your birth, you, maybe you, here you have 105, the basic in your brain. Now your parents show you your environment, shows you, and the, the, the more you see, the more associations you have, the more uh, dopamine-based uh, positive um, learnings you have, experiences you have, the more experience you do, the more um, knowledge you um, accumulate and associate. And now the important thing is when you do this combining processing knowledge and creating system models, then you make it very, very easy for the brain to process new information and put it and that me and put it store it in your brain in different locations of your brain you can you know if that is your your intellect and then you see something come in you associate here 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 and all these uh, uh, go according to a specific um, model and then they are all associated so whenever you think about this you associate it directly with this model and then say oh that's similar like this fact and this fact and this fact and this is the way you have to think and if you think in this way and now you you all people think in that way but please be aware that you can actually make this more or less your philosophy of thinking and if you let's say at the age of 15 or 20 you decide to go with such a system and then you follow your vision and mission to be, be, become a truth seeker a wise man as somebody that knows instead of things or has an opinion but you really know then you can actually there is no limit in it. so it's limitless what you can learn and so what i say is please start here your turbo your hurricane hurricane um in in learning and now how can you do that and one of the things is sit so so a sit and think you know you see something just stay there sit think question you know question ask somebody yeah maybe read something about this topic but then b is so that means you have but you know you have put some information in and you associated it as you thought but now write it down yeah write it down write it down writing crystallizes thoughts and now c is very very important and that is tough tell a friend do a video like this and when you do this video while i'm doing this video i learn i learn about things i learn about things i might have said in a different order why i might have said a little bit differently maybe i shouldn't have started here but i should have started here and so on so you learn and then maybe the fourth would be present present and teach so because if you present and teach you that's your your biggest turbo so i would say these think sit think question read ask 
write it down, write in crystallized thoughts, tell a friend videos in one go, there's no retake, just do it, just do a brain dump of what you believe is, in this case, the difference between knowledge and intelligence. And if you think you majored it, if you think, yeah, great, I did a great job here, then present to an audience and teach, give um, give a whatever, um, give a TED talk or whatever you want to do. Um, now the thing, the the most dangerous thing that is what I wanted to say is the gratification. How you handle gratification? Now most people have the desire to do instant instant gratification that's what they want i would say 90 percent of the population wants instant gratification i've done something give me money i've done something say good say you liked it uh, i did a walk now i want a beer you know this is instant gratification <coughs> and this is the worst thing you can do because doing this collecting information and then processing it, questioning it, reading, write it down, tell a friend video, that is tough. And that means you should have um, at least a delayed gratification. And I would say it's like 9% of people have this. They are able to delay it by, let's say, a day, one week, you know, one month, you know, and somehow they need gratification. And the best thing, but that is kind of a theoretical, is that you do not need no gratification. So you do not need gratification. Uh, and I think that would be maybe 1% of the population that says, I just do it even if I don't get a gratification for that. If you look at people like Adler, um, like Einstein, but also Jordan Peterson and so on, they actually d did not even, or Nietzsche, and a lot of think great thinkers did not, or Socrates, who was then, uh, you know, he, he, he get, got death, uh, sent to death penalty, um, uh, and uh, he, he did not even want a gratification. So these people do not expect anything. So they do it just because maybe they want to fulfill their vision, um, uh, vision or mission. And uh, so the most kind of the most popular or the, 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 the most advanced of mankind, I think, lies in this 1% of people. And this 1% of people goes down this path very easily because they don't need kind of here oh, now you have to give me gratification um, no I don't write it down because I, I'll have a beer first and um, why should I do a telefriend video Pff, who makes me do that uh, no uh, who, who gives me thumbs up who gives me money for it for it and so even uh, for example Newton with his maths and physics laws, um, he actually sat down for a whole year uh, and wrote this book. Many authors sit down for a long, long time to write and maybe they have short uh, bursts of gratification in things where they uh, kind of sit down and relax, but it, it's not um, a gratification for what they do but it's it's another thing a pleasure what, what they get so it's they do are not um gratification seekers so uh to cut that short uh, i think that is the, the 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 way we deal with gratification is the key of how successful we will be in life if you know if we judge our life in becoming a wise man, a true seeker, a philosopher, and so on. If we just want to enjoy life, then maybe there are much easier paths. So uh, it's your decision. And uh, I took my decision uh, for now. Maybe I'll, I'll 
change my vision or mission. Uh, but for now, it's more in this truth seeker, wise man area. Thank you very much for listening and talk to you next time. Bye bye.